So, hey guys, Chauzy here, back with another episode of Beat It with any unit. And yeah, this is the last episode, at least for the 10 star Garp. We'll see if I can do anything about the uh, 13 star. Uh, yeah, at this time I've not planned anything, but I'm recording this pretty early, like weeks ahead actually. So we'll see what has transpired during those weeks. But yeah, for this Dex team, I went with the hybrid of Luffy Zoro and Hawkins. I beaten Hawk, uh, beaten Duffy with Hawkins before, and this was a surprisingly good combo, at least for this content. But it won't surprise me if it's decent against other content too. Very cool combo, actually. And yeah, the reason I ended up with those two is obviously because of Nami Sanji, since yeah. You basically start with them, then you see what Free Spirit Fighter Captains you have, and then you I wanted to use uh, Hawkins, so I have to pair him up with something else. So yeah, Luffy Sora was the best pick. And yeah, we use their special here, just for some extra damage, and we'll be able to get them back later anyway. And yeah, we had Relic support on Luffy Zoro, not needed, we just need some support that triggers. Since, yeah, we do want extra damage from Super Type, which we'll get now. And we'll activate it soon just to take a little bit less damage. But yeah, the good part of Hawkins is, uh, obviously we have the healing between every stage. Not as much when you just have one Hawkins Captain, but still very nice amount. And the second one is that his special is super good for NL. And two copies of his special, even better. We'll basically beat every stage after this, except for the last one with just Hawkins. And yeah, we're just going to stall out this para, and uh, yeah, we're both going to take damage, so this stalling is both to get CD back and to just take damage so Hawkins can do more damage with his special. And yeah, just not taking as much damage for one turn. So yeah, final turn of stalling, and then we'll move on to next stage. And they haven't talked about Kisaru yet, but he's basically a filler. I just went with the best attack booster for decks I could find that was also free spirit and yeah he was the best man for the job I felt and here we can set up so we get uh, one orbs for all units here and yeah now we start using Hawkins special If you don't remember what Hawkins does, it's like a mini version of We2 Katakuri, but it's basically he does a bit less damage, but it's over 3 turns, and you need to take a lot less damage to reach the max potential. So, yeah, I think it's a better special than We2 Katakuri in general. Since as you can see here, we can abuse the fact it's 3 turns and easily beat this stage. And yeah, we can just pick up now next turn. And yeah, for this stage I decided to stall a little bit 
to get the other Hawkins ready just in case I do too little damage. But as you'll see, it wasn't necessary. I do well enough damage final stage. But yeah, it was just uh, just in case something went wrong. And yeah, we're setting up full board of one orbs here by attacking the quick units. And yeah, I just use one Hawking special, take out this Dex mob, and then I just stall a little bit, just to get the Hawkins ready. See, it's not a big stall, I'm basically just stalling out this bind, and then I'm moving on. But yeah. One of the nice parts of Lufthansa here is how easy you can set up for a full ball of one orb final stage, and that's obviously a lot of extra damage. But yeah, we're ready now. We have Nami Sanji special, removes all debuffs, gives a two times orb boost. Not to Hawkins, but to all other units. Uh, Kisaru 1.75 times attack. And then we use Lufusaur to get their full captain ability and uh, three times chain lock. So yeah, now we burst. And yeah, no problem with damage here. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.